we're just gonna add some hot sauce here. I'm not gonna measure that out. But that's it, that's the breakfast in a nutshell. Boom, done, looks delicious. Good morning, what's up you guys? Welcome back to episode three of Making Macros Simple. Today we've got another bite meal, but I'm gonna add a little bit to it. So we've got one bite meal and I'm gonna add four egg whites to this meal just to give myself a little bit of extra protein. And we're gonna add one slice of Kraft fat-free singles cheese on top. So let's get to it. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and giving that button a thumbs up. No giving the video a thumbs up. I'll figure this out. My caffeine, I swear I've had it, but maybe it hasn't kicked in yet. Anyway, go ahead and please consider subscribing because it does help the channel to grow and to reach more people. And this is educational content because it is what it is. I'm informing you of how to enter all these things into my fitness pal. So today we're gonna enter in all of these food items into the MyFitnessPal app on the phone. So I'm gonna try a different method of showing you guys how to do that instead of just turning my phone around and showing that to the camera. All right, so today we've got apple cinnamon pancakes, or cinnamon apple pancakes from Bite Meals, 390 calories, seven grams of fat, 45 grams of carbs, and 38 grams of protein. So I'm gonna use this as a pre-workout snack. I'm also gonna do one slice of the Kraft Singles Skim Milk Fat Free, and these are each 25 calories. So one slice, 25 calories, zero grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and four grams of protein. Then I'm going to have some break-free 100% liquid egg whites and the macronutrients on this. So a serving size is three tablespoons or 46 grams and 25 calories per serving. I'm gonna do four servings. So zero fat per serving, zero carbs per serving, and five grams of protein per serving, which means I will end up with 20 more grams of protein for this meal. So that is super exciting. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the scanning feature on my fitness pal for this particular meal. Now I've already mentioned in previous videos, bite meals do not have barcodes, so you cannot scan bite meals, but I can scan the Kraft Singles and I can scan the egg whites, so I'll show you guys how to do that. I'm just gonna heat up these pancakes on the stove top real quick and then I'll make the egg whites. And I've got my syrup, the sugar-free syrup in the microwave. Okay, I'm gonna measure out my egg whites real quick. So I've got my scale and it is in grams. So we're gonna measure the egg whites in grams. If you don't have a scale and all you have is a tablespoon measure, then you'll just have to measure out 12 tablespoons of egg whites. So I'm gonna take my cup or whatever measuring tool you wanna use and we're going to zero this out. Make sure it says zero. And then we're gonna do the egg white. Already did 46 times four in a calculator, which is, I think it's 184 grams. So we're gonna measure out 184 grams. Or as close as we can get. I'm not gonna be super picky. Close enough. So we've got 184 grams of egg whites and then we'll take one slice of cheese and put it on top of the eggs once they're about finished cooking and then top it off with some hot sauce. So these pancakes are warmed up so I'm just going to put them on a little plate right here. And then instead of using butter or coconut oil or, or vegetable oil or any type of oil to you know start off my eggs, I'm just going to use a little bit of Pam coconut oil spray that way we're really minimizing the calories here um, because I only have 30 grams of fat to work with throughout the day right now because I'm less than two weeks out from a bikini bodybuilding show. I want to minimize fat where I can. But if you have more fat calories to work with, then use butter, use coconut oil, use whatever you want. I'm just gonna put the syrup on. 
and this meal is done. So now let me show you guys how to track this in MyFitnessPal. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is pull up the MyFitnessPal app on the phone, and that's gonna bring me to my day. So I'm gonna hit Diary, and I'm gonna go to Breakfast. I'm gonna click Add Food. Now we already know from yesterday's video that we can't track bite meals by scanning the barcode. So what we're gonna do is we are going to search for food and I just have too much stuff going on right here. And I'm going to type in bite meals, cinnamon apple pancakes. So cinnamon apple pancakes. Oops, and actually I'm gonna go back to the beginning and type in bite meals because I wanna type in the brand first. Click search. And let's see, so we're looking for something that is 390 calories because that is what the bite meals is. And it, I don't see anything, so we may have to input this on our own, um, which is good because I haven't showed you guys how to do that yet. Okay, so yep, it doesn't look like there is an option in there yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the My Foods button up here. We're gonna go to Create Food, and we're gonna type in brand name, which is, in this case, Bite Meals. Whoops, if I could just type properly. Okay. And then we've already put in cinnamon apple pancakes, so I'm gonna take the brand name out of the description. And serving size is gonna be one tray. And then servings per container is going to be one. So we're gonna click that up arrow to go next. So calories, so we know from up here, wow, you can't read that, okay. So 390 calories is what the sticker says. So we're gonna put 390 right there. Then we're gonna go to total carbohydrates. We know the total carbs is 45 because that is what is on the label. We know protein is going to be 38, so we're going to put that there. And then we know fat is going to be 7. So we're not interested in any of the micronutrients or anything else right now. We're just focused on the macronutrients. So we're going to click the check mark. It's going to ask if you want to add more information because obviously your diary is more accurate when you add more nutrient information. For now, we're going to say no thanks. And there we go, the cinnamon apple pancakes has now been input into my fitness pal. Add the Kraft Fat Free Singles. So we're gonna go back to here, we're gonna click Add Food, and then we're gonna click on this barcode scanner up here. And we're gonna find the barcode on the Kraft Mac and Cheese, or it's not Mac and Cheese, it's just the Kraft Single Slice. And we're gonna take that Put it right behind search and there you go it comes right up so we want to do a quick double check here make sure that the calories on the app match the calories right here on the slices carbs two grams of carbs zero grams of fat four grams of protein everything matches we're good to go we're happy so i'm going to go ahead and click the check mark top right hand corner boom there it is it is input into the breakfast right underneath the cinnamon apple pancakes next we're going to move into inputting the egg whites so we're going to go back to the app click add food again we're going to go back to the barcode so clicked on the barcode again we're going to find the barcode and we're just going to put it right where that square is and we're going to search there we go so again we're double checking, 25 calories per serving, zero carbs, zero fat, five grams of protein. And what we wanna do here, since I made four servings of egg whites, is we're gonna go to number of servings on the app, and we're gonna click on that, and now we're just going to adjust to four servings. So simple, so now we have 100 calories, still no carbs, no fat, but now we have 20 grams of protein, which is accurate. So I'm gonna click the check mark down here and the check mark above, and there we go. That is added to our breakfast. We are finished adding into the app. Now the only other thing you could change if you want is you can add in 
the sodium levels for your Texas peat hot sauce if you decide to do that. Um, there are no macronutrients in this, but if you want to track your sodium, you can do that. So here I will just quickly show you all how to do that. We will track, try to scan this again. So it's going to come up with nothing there, but when you scroll down, you'll see 70 milligrams of sodium per one serving. And a check mark. And that is it, you guys. Super simple. All right, you guys, breakfast is finished. I'm about to go chow down on this. Hopefully that made things super simple for you guys. I took you step by step on how to add those three different things into my Fitness Pal app. If you have any questions or comments or you have any meals that you're having trouble tracking, put those in the comment section down below and I will get to them, I promise. If it's trouble with a meal, I'll try to track that in the future so I can show you guys exactly how to do it so that you are no longer confused. But thank you again for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you are brand new to this channel. Please consider subscribing. I will see you guys tomorrow for episode four of Making Macro Simple. Until then, y'all have a wonderful day. Fitness Empowerment by Danny, a brand dedicated to flexible nutrition, macronutrient tracking, and a lifestyle without unhealthy extremes. Be empowered to make a change in your life and take the next step on your health and fitness journey.